Hello, my friends, hello, and welcome once again to the hard-boiled Vaughn Manor, where we're going to be talking about a private detective today. We're going to be talking about The Continental Op by Dashiell Hammett. This is the first great detective character created by Dashiell Hammett, legendary hard-boiled writer of detective fiction. Dashiell Hammett, who wrote The Maltese Falcon, The Glass Key, and some other great books, created the Continental Op. An operative of the Continental Detective Agency, this character first appeared in the early 20s in the magazine Black Mask in a series of tough short stories. Hard-boiled short stories of detective fiction, the Continental Op. So we don't know much about the Continental Op other than he's an operative with the Continental Detective Agency. We know he's kind of short, we know he's kind of fat, and we know he's really, really tough. This guy is a hard-boiled, tough character who's seen it all and is Dashiell Hammett's idea of a great, hard-boiled detective, at least when he started his, his career, his writing career. Dashiell Hammett put a lot of himself into this character because Dashiell Hammett spent a few years in the Pinkerton Detective Agency. So Dashiell Hammett was an actual detective. So he knew what he was talking about and was able to put a lot of his own experiences into this fiction that he wrote about the Continental Op. And this series of short stories and a couple novels that he wrote about the Continental Op. So this month, if you are not aware, is Dictember. That's right. This month has been renamed and Dictember is a reading event created by Market Book Time with Elvis and Sean D. Stanfast and they are being joined by Steve Donahue and myself and all month long we're going to be reading detective fiction and I did a whole video about it that I'm now going to completely destroy because I changed my mind about what I wanted to do with Dictember this month devoted to detective fiction so this month, unlike a lot of reading events, doesn't have different themes every week, at least not that I'm aware of. You could pretty much read what you want, which frees me up a great deal. So I'm only going to read a couple things this month. One is going to be The Annotated Big Sleep by Raymond Chandler. I'll talk about this another time. And the other is The Continental Op, because I thought, wouldn't it be cool if every Dictember, because you know this is going to happen every year for the rest of my life, of course it will. What if every Dictember I concentrate on a di different detective and just read everything I can about that detective in the month, as much as I can? And I thought I would start off with this very early detective from the 1920s. This is an early example of the hard-boiled detective. He wasn't the first, but he was a very early example of it. And a lot of these stories in here were pretty influential on other writers and the stories that they wrote in Black Mask magazine. From what I remember, it's really great stuff. It's been a while since I've read a lot of the short stories, but I have read most of them, if not all of them. They are available in some different ways. This is the big book of the Continental Op, which has everything. And more importantly, this has everything as it was originally published in Black Mask magazine. So you have all of the stories. You have a story that he didn't finish, which I don't believe has been published outside of this, although I could be wrong. He also wrote two novels featuring the Continental Op. His first two novels were about the Continental Op, or he was the main character. You had Red Harvest, which was originally published as The Cleansing of Poisonville in Black Mask Magazine as a series of inter interconnected novelettes. They were basically a series of stories that told one story, which was not unusual in the pulp magazines. So that, all those, all those different parts of the story were put together, edited, changed a little bit, and published as Red Harvest. The same goes for his next novel, The Dane Curse. That was also uh, published in Black Mask magazine in different sections and different parts, and then put together as a novel later on. 
And there were differences in the texts. And so the, this edition has the original magazine versions as they were published in Black Mask Magazine, which is something I've never read. I've only read the published novel versions of these stories. So this is going to be exciting. And this is something I've been wanting to get to for a long time. And this provides me with the perfect excuse to do it. Now it is sort of long. It's over 700 pages long, but it's all double columned. So there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of text in here. It's a lot, it's, it's a lot to get through, but I think I can manage it. And like I said, I look forward to it. This, like I said, these stories were originally published in different paperbacks and I, they're still published as different, uh, paperbacks, paperback collections of short stories. And the Library of America edition of Dashiell Hammett has a lot of these stories. It doesn't have all of them, I don't believe, but it has a lot of them. But this has everything. So this is going to be exciting. And the Continental Op was, like I said, he was an influential character and he was a character that changed over the course of Dashiell Hammett's writing this character. He, he, like he, he wrote quite a few stories of this character, culminating in these two novels. Originally, we knew nothing at all about the Continental Op, other than he was just this tough little detective guy. But eventually, you get to these last couple novels, you don't learn a ton about the Continental Op's past, but you learn a lot about what kind of guy he is. And he gets himself in some dangerous situations. And he, he always does. This is something that hard-boiled detectives do. You know, they tend to get, you know, kidnapped, knocked out, shot at, shot. You know, many terrible things happen to private detectives on their cases. And yeah, definitely so for the Continental Op. He has a rough time particularly in Red Harvest, from what I remember. And so he, he goes through it, this guy, and we learn a lot about what type of person he is. And I wonder how much Dashiell Hammett put of himself into this character and also what he thought a, a tough detective character should be. What a lot of private detectives apparently wanted to be, according to Dashiell Hammett. And I think by the time he got to the two novels, he was ready to move on to something more challenging. He was ready to say more with his fiction than he had up to this point. This collection, these stories, they're his most pulpy stories. So these are real pulp stories from Black Mask Magazine lot of action, very plot heavy, but he did change. His writing did change quite a bit right around the time that he started writing the first, his first two novels, the two novels in this collection. And then he, he moved on and started to say some different things in his fiction. But the stuff in here, for most of it, is just real hard boiled, tough guy pulp stuff. If, you ha if you're a fan of detective fiction, definitely this is something you should check out. You should read the Continental Op stories if, you, if you're interested in detective or mystery fiction at all, if only for their historical value, but definitely for their entertainment value, because these are some entertaining stories, which, I'm looking, which I look forward to revisiting. So yeah, the Continental Op, you should check it out. Okay guys, I will see you next time.